Hello, 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 everybody. Thanks for joining me today. Today is going to be an amazing show. Look who my guest is, everybody. It's Chris Parente, Channel 2 Daybreak, my co-host from Colorado's Everyday Show, one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. Hello. That's so sweet of you to say, Miss Kathy J. I got to stay out of the gate. It's my first time on your podcast. I didn't realize. You got to stand up. Show people you're sitting in like the John Goodman recliner <laughs> from Roseanne. This is the biggest lazy boy leather bound recliner. I love you. I love I, you. Is it a big lazy boy or have I gotten smaller? <laughs> Has the room you know gotten what? bigger? You have. You look I good. Have gotten smaller. Thank you very much for yeah, it. Yeah. You still dress amazing. But yes, I've gotten smaller since the last time we were on the screen together. <laughs> You know, it's funny. I was thinking one time years ago when we hosted the show, they reviewed our show, somebody in a magazine, and they loved it. And they said, our show was called The Everyday Show. They said, Kathy and Chris are like the Laurel and Hardy of local TV. And we were so pumped until we looked up what those guys look like. And like <laughs> and Hardy, awesome. Hardy 500 pounds. And Laurel is a stick. And we had to admit that it was real, that it, we were the perfect 10. You yeah, were the one and I was the zero. Look who's laughing now, though. <laughs> now you're the okay. skinny one and I'm the... F oh, my God. Look. <laughs> Married yeah, life. Yeah, that is exactly right. So since we've last hung out and worked together, you yes. got married to Luis. Like, congratulations. I on know that. I did. Remember, I was dating when we were doing the show, and you were so tired of me. I was, you know, the people, when people first fall in love, oh my they gosh. get the puppy, everything's heaven, and they're all, all they can uh, do is talk about it. You guys were reading books together and yeah. waiting to read a chapter together on right. FaceTime. It was sickening. Right. We were even also uh, having sex and reading books at the same time, which was really, I thought. I'm so glad you didn't share that with me before. Because <laughs> now anyway, I yes. You visual. know what, though? That fit. Here's the thing. What? You got to be patient with your friends who are in that puppy dog because eventually that either they either doesn't work out or it evolves to the next level, which ours evolved to the next level. And in fact, now we're going to be celebrating our fifth wedding anniversary. That's amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. How long have you been that. married? How many years, Kathy? I don't know. Um, I hate you. you don't know. I 13, 14 you, years, somewhere like that. It? I was going to say 13, 14 years. We've been dating around 15. I mean, well, I mean, my kid's 11. So so, I, so we hung out for two years before we got had her. And then, you know, we got to ask my husband. You're real romantic, <laughs> aren't you? Years. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> real sweet. Let's just say I've been with the same dude for 14 years. Well, I was going to ask because I'm only five years in. When does the when does the sex dry up completely? <laughs> oh no, I'm at, it's a re, it's, you know revamp. There's all these different stages. Remember when I used to be on the show with you? Literally, there was times I told you that we high five before our heads hit the pillow. Like that was the communication my right. husband and I had. Yeah. Now we at least say hi and we high five and our heads Good. hit the pillow. <laughs> Good. You do realize that's not having sex. High fiving. Yeah. High five. There's we touch. Others. There's a bond that happens. That's skin, true. Skin touches warmth. <laughs> wow, can't wait for your 14. Can't wait. Stop. So I have questions about you oh, working you on the morning show. Well, come welcome. Welcome to my home. I'm yes, an open book. Right, 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 right. Anything you want to okay. know. All right. So you're on Channel 2 Daybreak and you do yes. the morning show. Yeah, and when, so when our show ended which was a sad day for me and a sad day, I think, for Denver. Yeah. I, I then got switched over, promoted to the morning anchor, and that's where I've been ever since. Okay, and what are your hours? Like, what time you, I mean, you? what time you get up? What time you get there? It's a nightmare. It's Actually, I'm glad you mentioned this. Uh, <laughs> I get up around mm, 2.30. A.M. But, but I'm done by around 10 or 11. The rest of the day is mine. And I... Raise this point. All of your faithful, loyal, loving people still write me every day. I love Kathy. Why doesn't Kathy come back? People love you. They adore you. Yeah. I'm going to implore every person listening or watching right now. I happen to have an open co-anchor position at my job right now. You do. And if anyone out there would like to, uh, you know, write in, petition, <laughs> demand that Kathy J get the job or at least be brought in, you can email tips. At kwgn.com. That's tips, tips. at kwgn.com. Let them know you'd like to see Kathy back on TV. You know, I could do that. I would love to wake up at 2.30 in the morning. That sounds heavenly. 
you got not your kids are grown now your husband's an old man you got nothing to do with your life get up a little they're, earlier they are 11 and 9 well she's about to be 9 <laughs> they're halfway to college they're halfway there so, you, I, you know what look, let's talk about this out loud really fast because that's one of my things so i had talked to you about like could i do the news cuz you and yeah. i i mean you have but you're a great driver you could teach anybody how to read the news you're good i just don't think i'm I just, to be that serious, Chris, you have to read some very serious stories hour after hour for five hours a morning. That really does yeah, a lot to your But soul. you know what? I'm going to say it. I think what, what Denver TV needs is what I, I try to bring, and it's what Channel 2 tries to bring. I think you'd be great at it. Local. If you want to wake up and get the news headlines, you got your phone for that. You got Twitter for that. You've got, you've got a thousand apps that can give you the basics, right? What you can't get anywhere else is a place that, appreciation values humor levity joy laughter friendship yeah. yes 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 bringing the news but bringing the news in a way you cannot get anyplace else i think it'd be perfect why don't you right now audition quickly try to <laughs> try to read like you would like you know a barbara walters a connie <laughs> chung give us a little audition of your serious side <laughs> the blah, 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 blah. You know, I can't like I, I, I can't read a teleprompter. We've been through this before. I need bullet points and we fly like, you know, the the teleprompter. OK, let's see what's happening in the news right now. Tell me something that happened this morning. You read five, you rivet for five hours. Well, <laughs> you talk about this. there's a lot of downer stuff today. Right, how about this? No, I don't want to depress. You. How about this hurricane? Uh, oh, Milton. Milton is barreling toward the Gulf Coast of Florida. Go. Hurricane Milton barreling towards the Gulf Coast of Florida right now. Passengers are holding. Passengers. See? <laughs> Florida's not an airplane. Florida's a state. You better get in a boat <laughs> get a passenger and get out of there. Because that hurricane hands inside the state. is coming. No. Now listen. <laughs> I, and again, I want to implore. Can I want you to do implore. the serious stories and I just do the fun? No, no, no. I think actually people would appreciate getting the news, even the news that's not <laughs> the best, from someone that, that makes them feel better. Do you know? And I want to implore your, your fans and your viewers again. That's okay. tips. Tips. <laughs> You're so at kwgn.com. Let them know how much you love Kathy. I, love I you. think honestly, um, I think you would do great. I think uh, you, you've been doing it for a long time anyway. People, yeah. people want the news, yes, but they want more than that. Otherwise, they can just go to their phone. I agree with you, and I think that's why the Today Show, that's why they do so well, because those personalities, to find a well, personality. Now you're, now, now you're up there with her? <laughs> now you're Jenna Hager Bush, whatever her name is? No, definitely not. Those ladies, they, they have their own talents, you dork. I'm just saying, you know, that I just feel that there is a way to deliver the news refreshingly, um, where it's not making you feel like you're going to like have to kill yourself or poke your eyes out to hear it one more time. Well, it's more than that. I think what, what people loved about you, what they, what they love about you on the radio, what they love about you when you're on TV is you're genuine. You're very funny. That's that's helpful, but you're genuine. Yeah, I, you know, like the the days of the Ken and Barbie doll on TV. I I don't want to wake up with that. And no, I, so we don't have that on our show. I hope people will wake up with us on Channel Two, and they'll see and they'll say, "Oh my God, Kathy, be perfect on this show." Okay, <laughs> yeah, email tips. I get it, but you tips, know, you also that's are tips <laughs> at kwgn.com. <laughs> By the way, you work with Ken Clark, who I know yeah, very well. Right. Like, I do love your whole team. I love your directors. I love everybody that works over there. So, well, Ken's a, here's the funny Ken Clark is another example. And if your viewers, your listeners may not notice, uh, Kathy J and Ken Clark went to college together. Yes, down we did. there at Fort Lewis College, yes, way we down did. there in BF Durango. <laughs> and, and you guys studied improv we all did. those years ago. Yes, and, and that's what I think we need in the morning scene. Nobody, here's the other thing. You, nobody else is doing it. You've got 10 other choices of morning shows that are pretty straightforward. It's ABC, it's, and, and away you go, forgettable. Our show tries to be something different. And again, tips at kwgn.com. <laughs> Here's the thing, what, what? At, at my age, it's not a joke. I was just thinking, I'm up every hour taking a leak. Like <laughs> I've reached that age. What does it matter if I go to work at 2.30? I'm already going to the bathroom. You, know? you are absolutely right. But here's the thing. I have to put makeup on. You know I, that drove me crazy when we had our TV show. Was I, was, I was pregnant. You, I was nine months pregnant with you. Still putting on that horror makeup. It is. You know, honestly, it is harder I, for women 
than for men because there's because there's more that goes into it. But you know what? You know, just ten extra minutes. No, but you're a naturally beautiful woman. No problem. And you know what I hate about you? Speaking of the outfits, you always look so good. And I, working with you, I realized you just have a lot of key pieces that you've been able to mix together, which makes you have a lot of different outfits. But they're all fabulous in all these different ways. And I just, I'd like the chance, if anything, definitely to get on TV with you again and see if I could compete. Because before, I wore the same outfit so much that our viewers would say, my mom and I were taking bets to see if you'd have your jean shirt on again today. I like the jean shirt. The jeans. <laughs> uh, you, had the, you had the Lucy dress. The, the polka dot Lucy dress was on my favorite. Right. right. And but you had that. Know- when you're oh my God. Girl. You're wearing it now. The maroon thing you always wore, the maroon top. Is that the same one? No. Yes. No. But when I put it on, I actually thought, wow, I think I took a press photo with him in his shirt you like did. this. Oh, you the did. Oh, days. Okay, so let's, so let's talk about the Yes Improv stuff in our show because that's what I wanted to really t- move on to and talk about because it's Halloween time and you and I by far had the best Halloween shows that Denver's ever ever seen like we did it from Willy Wonka to I mean to the revenge show we just had the best funniest shows here's the they they are if you go on I know Kathy's got some videos she can show and if you go on YouTube you can find some of the clips Halloween is an example of like it's a I love it it's fun you love it it's fun we can cut loose but the funny thing is we would do great shows themed shows I remember one time, wasn't I Matt Damon and you were the planet Mars? Yeah, <laughs> you were the astronaut, or that one. It's because I was pregnant. <laughs> and I was orbiting you. Um, but what's funny is that Kathy will back me up because here's the, I mean, I'm the first to admit I'm Italian and I'm kind of a grumpy and I can be a, uh, can I cuss on this man. or no? Am I allowed to cuss? Try not to, but yeah. Okay. I can be man. a jerk yes. sometimes. And on these Halloween shows, I, they were always so much fun, and I was always in the worst mood. And oh, I remember, like, I remember one time you were dressed as I was, I was <laughs> Joan Crawford, and you were Betty Davis, and you looked at me like, "Why are you in such a bad mood? You're dressed as Betty Davis." You're just out. Crawford. Yeah, you are. You, yes, you are in that wheelchair. Like you were. I know. I was. Crawford. Uh, and then I think that's why I went overboard when I had to do the troll. <laughs> for the for the Thor movie because I was trying to get you in such a good mood because you were dressed as that Kate Blanchett um oh my god Helena thing and you were so <laughs> upset and I was like <laughs> you one time you were you were Ursula and I was King Triton. That and was then classic. the I think probably the we went as like um like enemies once all the all the costumes um, were yes. enemies and you went as, uh, I went as, you were Tanya Harding. And you were Nancy Kerrigan. And I was Nancy Kerrigan. <laughs> it was amazing. And you had the cigarette and the whole nine. <laughs> where, where else on TV are you going to get that? Where else are you going to get that? You let me be the golden goose that laid golden eggs, and I came out with a cigar. The Willy Wonka. Remember, oh, like, my God. That well, you were also Violet Beauregard, weren't you? I blew up like a blueberry. We did so many funny things, and you shrunk yourself and went into a purse. Like, we had so much fun with our staff and you stuff. Know what, our it was, shows honestly, were epic. What, what I liked about working with you and, and the, the old everyday show, which is now gone, but we could recapture the magic were you to come on Channel Two Morning, <laughs> is that we were the one place in town that and radio still does this, radio does a good job of it that embraces allows people to be creative and to go for it and, and to push the envelope and, and, and do stuff that yeah. isn't just, frankly, is we weren't boring. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. TV can be very boring. Everyone has to live in the box. You guys have to read what's on that teleprompter. Right. You're right. very time. You have people right. in the back room making sure you hit your commercials. Like, you have to stay right here, and it is very frustrating, and I enjoyed how much you just let me go. You would just throw, and I, you get like this twinkle in your eye and look at me and be like, and I'd be like, here we go. Let's do it, Chris. I know. I know. It was it was a blast. It really was. From the and, you know, to, the, to the guests, to the money couple, we just had a lot of fun with our people. Yeah. And people still talk about the show, it, you know. Yeah. That, that's, a compliment to, that's a compliment to your talents. I didn't know that I was your longest running co-host until the day that we closed the show. That's when someone was like, you, you know, Chris was the longest and you were the second wrong, longest running. I was like, oh, I wish yeah. somebody would have told me y'all me- I meant something to you. 
Of course you do. <laughs> and in fact, I, I might have, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but I currently don't have a co-host permanent <laughs> on my morning show on Channel 2. And if your viewers would like to suggest that you make a triumphant return, <laughs> I have more. It. I have <laughs> at kwgn.com <laughs> i just want to say i do have to say something honest to you speaking of that last show when i came back for the color resident everybody everyday show i threw a cake in your face and i was very angry for some reason at you that day and i think it was just because i was mad i didn't have a job with you anymore i don't know but i just want to apologize. Just a cake in my face the very last show of oh, the day i was signing off the emotional yeah. last day yeah. the, emotional, that, yeah. the emotional last day i just want you to know it sticks with me as something i shouldn't have done and i'm sorry probably not but yeah <laughs> i remember the time we were out at water world and we dropped a cake dropped a whole cake in the swimming pool and tell them what happened we dropped it in the big lagoon everybody where the right. waves are and it was a big cake it was a huge sheet cake it was their anniversary or birthday or something yes right that cake disappeared within seconds. Gone. The filter that they have in that water world Industrial water. Industrial strength. Don't lose anything in that pool. Because no. no. I tried because I tried to pick it up to save whatever chunks of the cake. Gone. Gone. <laughs> like, you know what? Like if you sit made... on that thing the wrong way, if it's you sit on it, your intestines are out. I mean, and that's that like it's a movie. avoid the suction. <laughs> Yeah, what I'm trying to say. And it's right there where a lot of moms will sit, you know, like those big cracks in the. Yes. Like don't 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 sit on a crack. Pressure. You'll live to regret it. Yeah. But I didn't make you feel good because you know, let's be honest, kids are gonna poop in the pool. That poop is oh, gone. Yeah. It's gone. I don't need any duty coming up on me while I'm swimming. They have a very strong filter system. God love your water world. Yeah, thank you, Water World. So, thank yeah. you, Water World. But I had so much fun working with you when when we did everything. What will you be dressing as Halloween this year? You are well, very creative. You know what? I mean, on, okay, I we, we don't do big Halloween shows anymore. No. Because the, every, the everyday show was on a little later in the morning. We could be a little looser. The morning news, I mean, I, I can't be reading the news when I'm dressed as Tanya <laughs> Harding or Nancy <laughs> Kerrigan. But if I could do my, I think I want, who is that, um, I'm fascinated by her, that that break dancing woman from Australia. <laughs> you would be so good as that lady. Ray Gunn. Ray Gunn. Her name's Ray Gunn. Remember, like, and she was so outrageous. And yes. I kind of thought about going as Ray Gunn this year. Uh huh. Right. You know and, what I know? Well, do you do couple costumes with? Well, I don't. I don't know if I mentioned this. But I, don't, I don't currently have a partner on my show. So if I, <laughs> if I had one, tips at kwgn.com. I don't know. I'm trying to think. What's going to be the big thing this year? What's if you showed up, just so you know, if we were doing the, the news together and you showed up as Ray Gunn, yeah. I would have to show up as one of the judges and just hold the number zero at you. <laughs> I would just have to be like this. <laughs> or how about you could be that bearded drag queen that was at the open. Remember they got all mad at the beard? Oh, the yeah. Open. Let's You'll bring that kind of controversy to our show when I first start. Let's do that. Oh, that'd be that. great. Oh, or you could be like the headless Maria. There were a thousand options at opening There's, ceremony. You know, and we'll go to edit through every single one if you want. But yeah, no, I love working with you. I love being with you. And I'm glad that we, our friendship has stayed through the years. Well, you know, it's ebbed and flowed. It was up and down, but I'm like glad. Our, like our marriages, they've ebbed we're and cool, flowed. We're cool, right. Uh, one more, you know, I, I don't know. Are you, I don't know how politically correct we've got to be but but when we started doing the show it was before political correctness really and before we were learning we yeah. were learning what was acceptable <laughs> and one year we went as before and after do you remember that amazing that's what we won the emmy for didn't we what didn't and we submit some i of went emmy? as can i say this or is it gonna be trouble you know what uh i think you can say it because we did it with love we did it with love, and it was probably honestly 15 years ago. So we had like, let's start with some other characters before we go to the one that you're about what, to mention. What Renee were the other Zellweger, ones? Whenever there was Renee Zellweger, because she's oh, that's crazy. good. We <laughs> went as Renee pre and post surgery. Right. That's pretty yes. cruel. She really looked different after her surgery. <laughs> and if it did work, then I was the heavier version of you because there were so many before and afters you could do. <laughs> we're terrible people. We made fun of Renee. <laughs> I have apologies, Ms. Zellweger. <laughs> but then we did, we did, um, you were Bruce Jenner and I was Caitlyn Jenner. No, no but here's I the thing. Uh, you honestly, were Bruce Jenner and Caitlyn. We, this was before we understood what 
she was going through, okay? It was the very beginning. So it was still Bruce. Yeah. He was doing the long hair and looking that's different. And so I was I was Olympic Bruce and you were current Bruce. Right, that's what it was. And with no offense to what's happened since because we've since learned. That's right. But, so we didn't go as Caitlin. It was just, no. I, you're right, because I pulled my hair underneath the blue shirt and yeah. took my makeup off. That's right, that's right. See, yeah, see, we were, we were fine. <laughs> if you guys can find that clip on YouTube, find it and get us fired. And, and watch it first and then let us know if we need to pay you for it. <laughs> and burn all copies, please. Jeez Louise. It wasn't that bad. We would never no. cross the line. But you know, it was, I mean, I was coming off of the morning show with Larry and Kendall. So oh. there were times that I was just like exhausted and also who knows know. what was coming out of my mouth. <laughs> it was hard. But you know, that's something I, I, I like about. I would like to too is you know, if you don't if you're not willing to be totally honest and and go for it and sometimes you go too far and sometimes you mess up and some then it, it, there's no point in trying to play it safe. Yeah, you're right. right? You anybody can right. play. It. And so there were times you on your radio and on TV that we pushed the envelope, maybe went a little too far, or maybe, and when we did, we apologized for it. But don't you like not knowing? Yeah. What you're going to see and what these people are going to do? Yes. Also, it's what people are thinking. Obviously, we thought it. Other people are thinking it too, and that's what I always loved about it when we'd be right. on the same page. Like. <laughs> <laughs> You're All hilarious. Right. You know what? Other people just think about being bigots, but we come right out and do it. <laughs> we will do it for you. He will say what you were thinking. No, but honestly, um, we are I, I, and if, I should say, and I'll, I'll speak just my, Kathy's actually one of the most accepting, open-minded she is so it was just out of humor i love and, you you know it's true both yeah. of us it, you know like I, I we come from a loving place always speaking yeah, of, I, I, older i get though i gotta be honest i'm i'm now getting i'm turning into my so father grumpy. i can't okay. believe it god bless your father and my father have both crossed over but you realize it's i don't want to call it their revenge but the older you get you become your parents yeah a hundred percent yeah but here's the thing your dad was really cool Yes, he was. But <laughs> so I don't know where you're going because you're not going to cool land because your dad was cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to grumpy old guy land. Like I was actually thinking because my dad didn't really know technology. Land. The grumpy part and my dad never knew technology. When I was trying to zoom into this damn thing, I, I, I literally like, holy crap, I'm my dad. Because <laughs> now which? No, I don't know. That doesn't. John, John, over there. Hit that no, button. now you're too big. No, John. You're too big. No, John. It's Anybody, okay, John. It it looks good. Oh, yeah. But it's kind of cool because it's a way you're, I mean, I don't know if you find yourself doing things that remind you of your dad, but it's like, it's a way they stay with us because they actually do live on a hundred percent, not just in spirit, but through us. It it's is crazy. wild. If you did your job right, your kids have good parts of you and they are that person every day. And like yesterday, I drove a pickup and drank a beer. That's my dad. Back when he crossed over, we saluted him with, what was his favorite beer? Bud Light. Bud Light. We cracked open a 12-pack there on set. I remember that. You let me do that. And I almost finished the whole thing, but I could hear the panic in your voice as I was about to slam the rest of the beer. And you were like, Kathy, Kathy, yeah. live yeah, yeah. Kathy. <laughs> Wasn't a whole lot left of the beer. Wasn't a lot left. No. But Chris Prente, um, what future plans do you have? I mean, are you and Luis going to be traveling? I know you love to travel. Before I let you go, what are your what's your future look like? This is the Oprah question you asked me. <laughs> you have any? You know what? Oprah would have made me. Barbara Walters would have made me cry or give. Okay, you asked me any vacations coming all right, up? Is that what you want? Here we go. No, no, I don't want that. No, 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 no it's too late. No, I want to no, give it to you. Don't you give me gonna, the hair. You no. want this? You're going to get it. You just I don't want it. You sit there, Chris. You ready? <clears throat> We've been talking today with Chris Parente, who is yeah. a great dude, and he was a coworker of mine. And the guy is thoughtful. He's he always wants to help people. He finds a joke in a uh, a way to lighten the mood. He's the guy that you can count on to make sure that the job gets done. He's the guy that encourages you to be your best because he wants your best because it makes him his best. He's the guy that will find the humor. And just always encourage you to, to, I mean, the way you made me do things that I never would have done. So Parente, you win. Um, you are amazing. 
You are fun to be with. You're a great Aww. show host. And a great driver. You encourage people. You, everything you do is awesome. And I'm so glad that you found a love like Luis because you deserve well, it. I, I, you know what? I, I'll, I'll just say that um, I, if anybody out there hasn't found love, first of all, it's fine. Different. Everybody's on their own path. You don't have to even get married. Or There's different ways, right? But it took me a long time of messing up over and over again. So... You know, I was in, in my God, what, mid to late 40s before I even met this guy. And of course, he was in high school at the time. <laughs> I, this is not true. I'm kidding. He's younger than I am, though. Right, but he's not high school age now. No, no. He, <laughs> but my point is right. that um, you just never know if you just try to be willing to grow and love and open yourself up, it'll come or it won't. But it's never too late, never too late. And I think honestly, you know, if I, if I, I love Denver, I've been here 20 years, but eventually, depending on whether, you know, my, who my next coast is and if I like them or how <laughs> things go, I might stay a while or, you know, what's next for me is I want to retire and get a house in Italy. Cause you know, my family's from Italy Yep. and like go half the year here, half the year in Italy. Amazing. You used to travel so much and you encouraged me to travel. I went to Romania this past year in June. And so I, but I thought of you the whole time, just. Romania. <laughs> Dracula. You went, yeah, no, no, Sparat, what do you go yeah. on? Uh, you know me, you know, I. I wait, the, what did you do in Romania? Why are you coming in on the screen like an old man? What, I told you on my dad. What are you doing in Romania? <laughs> Why not Hawaii? What's wrong Sit with back. Hawaii? Are you serious? You went to Romania? Okay, the people from the Global Down Syndrome Foundation, Anka, she's from Romania. I know she Anka. Big, Anka, she had her big birthday party, so I went out there for the big birthday party. You got a personal tour from somebody uh, yes. from there. Yes, so Wonderful. that's worth it. Yes. Next, we tour the butcher factory. Next, we tour the automobile plant. It's <laughs> Romania. Very exciting place. I loved it. You better stop. I I, I'm kidding. <laughs> I actually, one of my best friends is from from the that area. It's very I know. beautiful. It's I very know. beautiful. <laughs> but I love you. So I want you to also get that house in Italy because I want to come visit. Anytime. You okay. Leave, but you cannot bring the children. I'm I sorry. promise that's fine with me. No, or the husband. I was hoping you'd say that. I didn't go to Romania <laughs> with the husband. I totally went with Larry's husband. I went with Chris. Who you dated once. My high school sweetheart. And right. everyone was uncomfortable with that, except for Chris and I, like, and right. our husbands. Our husbands were like, please go. Right. They don't care either. They don't we, care. Don't, we don't judge. It's a no. it's modern family, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Chris Parente from Daybreak, thank you so much for being with us today. Hey. Anytime, I you know I love that you're I love that you're on the radio. I love that you're on a, a time that, that I can listen in the in the afternoons. You yeah. are in the afternoons, right? Yes, two to okay, six. Okay, good. I listen every day in the afternoons, and most of all, I'm kidding. Most of all, um, I, I do want to say from the heart, tips. AWGN. <laughs> dot com. It couldn't hurt. And in fact, you know what? If people don't want to write and say, hey, why don't you get, we want to see Kathy on TV. They could just write and say how much they enjoyed you when, you know, like. That's true. Be, just write and say be, we had a good time. Kathy will back me up and then I'll shut the hell up. Okay. You'd be surprised how often people will write in um, if they've got a gripe or a complaint. Yeah. That's fine. But you'd be surprised how much it means when people get an email that has a kind word. Uh, like people that have gone out of their way to say, I mean, it means a lot. To know that so, you took the time to actually say thank you for making me happy today is so nice. It makes us feel so great on the other end of it. Yeah, it's deeply appreciated. So I, I would love for people to write in and, and, and sing your praises. For thank sure. you. Well, sing your praises too. I love you. And we were a great team. I loved working with you. Well, what, you never you know. know. You, never, you could come to Radio Land. You're just as good on radio. You, do I get to sit in a big ass John Goodman lazy boy like that? <laughs> yes, you that is do. The Care, my God! It's just, does it have a holder for your cup? For your cup, does it? <laughs> yes, no, it doesn't. Does it have the recline with the? Look, just because you have pencil thin chairs that have to stick you up straight so you can tell everybody with the news doesn't mean that I just can't chill. It's about the voice. You're about the looks. You're right. You're. I, I'm jealous, is what I am. I know you are. So comfy. Well, I love you, Parente. Tell Luis hello until we talk again. I will. I'll, I'll see you on Channel Two in the morning. Maybe every morning. Who knows down the line? <laughs> who knows? Who knows what this world is? I love, love you, you Kathy. Thank you, you for taking time. I love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.